Hey everybody, it's Baron J. So listen to the words I'm saying, cockbite. If you're familiar with this symbol, you'll know that Rooster Teeth is responsible for putting out some of the most quality content in the past 10 years. Or 11 now, I, I don't really remember. From their series of shorts and live podcasts, to their flagship show, Red vs. Blue, to their Let's Play and game information station, Achievement Hunter, these internet pioneers have been at the top of everyone's list for a while now. In recent years, however, they've released a new series called Ruby, a dramatic change from what the company usually produces. However, this show is quickly becoming one of their most popular creative outlets, and for good reason. And that reason is that it's good. It's really fucking good. So here's some backstory. In the previous seasons of Red vs. Blue, the combat sequences were very cut and dry due to the limitations of machinima. One of the options they considered was hiring a 3D animation specialist to create the fight sequences. They looked for some videos of different animations and found not a diamond, but a 15 carat wedding band with platinum inlays in the rubble. Enter Monty fucking Ohm, or Oom, or however you want to pronounce it. I don't know. Haloid was a project Monty created back in 2007 as a side project slash labor of love, in which Master Chief fights an oncoming force of Covenant, then dukes it out with Samus Aran, who joins him as an equal to tag team the remaining onslaught. While this might sound like a fan fiction image you might find on DeviantArt, this 10 minute short is one of the most brilliantly choreographed action sequences I've ever seen from modern media. Jiminy goddamn Christmas, this thing kicks ass. Rooster Teeth then hired Monty to create the next few seasons fight sequences until they said, hey, Hey man, you know, if, if you've ever thought about making your own creative project, let us know. I mean, we'll fund it. Oh. I'm glad you fucking asked. Ruby is Monty's brainchild, an anime about Ruby Rose, a girl that wields a giant scythe that doubles as a high-impact, high-caliber sniper rifle. Hey, Baron J, I have to correct you on something. Ruby is not an anime because it wasn't actually made in Japan, and all anime is- Shut your goddamn whore mouth. I'm sorry, that was- that was incredibly insensitive of me. Shut your goddamn mouth. This is my new pet peeve. Ruby is an anime. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Let me put it to you this way. If a sandwich you get for afternoon brunch contains hot steak and cheese, but you buy it from a place in LA instead of Philadelphia, is it still considered a Philly cheese steak? Of course it is, you friggin' dumbass! It's different for shows like Avatar, which is clearly an American production, but that borrows influence from anime, but it's pretty much still there. Sorry, this is beside the entire point. Ruby's characters are fleshed out and vibrant in design. The interaction between them seems genuine as well, for the most part. My only complaint is that some of the characters' backstories haven't been revealed. But as of writing the review, this has been explained in the newest season, so the plot for the first season suffers in certain areas, but that may just be me because it only seems like filler. But here it's for two or three ten minute episodes, not entire goddamn story arcs like some shows I've watched. You know who you are. And of course, where this show excels is the combat. Every fight sequence is methodically, almost mathematically thought out. One of the coolest mechanics is the way that Ruby and certain other characters use the momentum of of their weapons, which can also double as firearms. In case you were wondering how a teenage girl can swing around a giant scythe with minimal effort, she can use the gun's recoil to fire herself through a swing. While this may seem unrealistic, shut up, who gives a shit? Look how fucking cool this is. The fights exude this air of, oh hell yeah, that makes you bite your knuckle in that oh shit fashion. And it's not even some of the fights, it's like every single fight you go, oh, oh, oh no, oh, oh yes. You can watch Ruby for free on roosterteeth.com or or go to their YouTube page to watch the entire first season from start to finish. It'll take you about an hour and a half depending on if you have ad blocker enabled, which you shouldn't for YouTube at least because, hey, we're all trying to make a living. Well, it's the end of the video, so here's the subscribe button, here's the link to the Facebook. How was your day? Did you- was it good? Was it good? Oh, oh, I'm sorry about Sherry. Yeah, I know, she's kind of- she's kind of weird. Like, I don't- I don't know how to feel about her. I can't really get her- I, I can't get- I can't get a read on her. It's very odd. Very odd. Goodbye, everybody.